I'm digging Brit, and today I'm going to make a cherry meringue trifle. It is my absolute favorite dessert. It is so delicious. It has cherries that have been roasted in bourbon, cream, and bits of meringue in it. It's kind of like pretend trifle, but it's so delicious. You'll love it, I promise. It is my absolute super favorite dessert. Oh, so yummy. <laughs> All right, y'all, who's ready to make it? So I have about a pound of cherries right here on my cookie sheet. You can use frozen or you can use fresh. Um, cherries are not in season right now, so I'm gonna go with frozen. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and put some brown sugar. Who doesn't love brown sugar? A pinch of salt. I like salt, so. <laughs> and a few splashes of bourbon or rum, and I'm using a bullet rye because it's awesome. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Shake it all around. Now I'm gonna roast our cherries in, in our oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. And you're gonna wanna give it a shake or a toss over halfway through just to get the juices flowing. So now I'm making our cream mixture that's gonna go in our glass with our cherries and our meringue. And I have a cup of heavy whipping cream. And now I'm putting a quarter cup of Greek yogurt. And a couple of tablespoons of confectioner sugar. Okay, our bourbon roasted cherries are all ready. Woo! It smells so delicious. It smells like cherries and bourbon. <laughs> so for the next part of our recipe, we're gonna incorporate the meringues with the cherries and the cream. And I made these meringues from scratch. But you can totally use store-bought if you want to. All right, y'all. So exciting. So I'm gonna crumble up some of my meringues that I've made. It's like a faux trifle, really. It doesn't have sponge cake in it. It's so delicious. It's insane. I'm gonna give it the layers here. I got my meringue and then my cream and now my delicious, steamy, hot, bourbon roasted cherries. <laughs> I'm gonna do another layer of meringue. These are my favorite, I'm so excited. I'm not gonna lie, if you do make your own meringues, it might just be a little bit more yummy. <laughs> Another dollop of cream. A few more cherries. You can put a few nuts on the top if you want to. Give it a little extra crunch. That's always fun. Okay, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I love it so much. <laughs> All right, y'all, well, thanks for joining me as I made my favorite dessert, our faux cherry trifle. I hope y'all had fun. See you next time. It has cream, cherries, and I forgot. Nope. I'm putting... It has bits of cherry, nope. All right, so first we're gonna take, okay, a pound? Is it a pound? Nope, what do you call it? <laughs> I think I just put a lot. So first we're gonna put, so first I'm gonna take a pound. And then you're, so now I'm gonna, so now I'm gonna make our cream miss. <laughs> this dessert is so delicious. It is my what are you doing? I have about a pound of, first I have a pound of, nope. So you can buy, you can buy. So first I've put, so I put, so I put about a, I have about a pound of cherries, right? So you can buy cherries on a cookie sheet on parchment paper. No? Hey y'all, what's up? <clears throat> so, so the next part of the recipe, nope. So for the next part of a recipe, we're gonna incorporate, incorporate. All right y'all, well thanks for joining me in making my, very favorite dessert, the cherry I forgot. <laughs>
I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> Hope you all had fun.